just have a little question here. Um, are all these friends you have known before you've joined Facebook or you've known them after you joined Facebook, meaning that they are most of them are new friends you've just known through the Facebook, so you don't know anything about them except the information that they gave you. Do you know them personally? Have you known them before you've joined Facebook? or? And what is the percentage of these friends in your 400s or 300s of friends? So you have 400 friends. Have you known them before Facebook? Um, yeah, I've seen them at least once before. And like um, I know I'm after conventions, you m like meet so many people. Hi, I'm Monica. Nice to meet you. And it just and that's where it ends. But you still add them on Facebook, and you like most a lot of times I've become better friends with people through Facebook. But I've always known who they were before. All right. What what some of the things that you've ne you never expected when you have used Facebook? you came across things that you've never expected that to face and how did you deal with it and maybe we can ask uh, Sayedna how we can avoid these things not necessarily Facebook what about MySpace what about YouTube uh, what about all these things all these sites uh, I want to hear from you what are the positive and negatives of all these social media sites I personally think that my uh, Facebook is um, a lot safer site than MySpace or other other sites like Twitter, because it has um, it like it allows you to edit your profile and like make like set your own privacy with which you want the photos to show to whoever group of people and if you don't like them and you can even set it like personally like by person, which is a good thing because like in a way you can put all the pictures that you need and make only your family or the people that really really want them to see them could only see it but the rest cannot show it at all which is a good thing and a good privilege that's the positive about it and I guess if you just know how to use it correctly is the key but what did you benefit from using Facebook I think as Monica said earlier, we just we get closer to the friends that we meet before. Like it's a really good way of communicating and a lot of family like from Egypt that I never talk to, I talk to them on Facebook and it's just a good way to keep in touch. Very good. Uh, have you experienced any negatives from using uh, Facebook or MySpace or Twitter? Um, when I first made my MySpace page, um, my profile, you can send it for privacy, like if someone as you as a friend, you could block them and everything. Well, mine was set on private where you cannot enter my information and everything. And so some guy started saying really nasty stuff to me and like it was really, really bad. So my parents found out and I didn't even know about it at the time. So. They had to block my MySpace, they had to change my password. Um, I deleted it though, I deleted my old page and, they, and made a new one and just, you know, I still stuck with the friends that I had before and I'm just very careful of like what happens if something happens, I'll just report it right away. Keep it that way. Yeah. Maybe this is, has to do with what just Nardine said, MySpace and Twitter are not as safer as uh, uh, Facebook, because you said this happened with MySpace, right? Can I ask a question? Do you think we can use Facebook in a, a productive way for our church, for our youth? How do you think we can uh, uh, use this? And I'm going to ask Sayyidna at the end how we can benefit from these things. But I, I want to hear you first, and then. We can uh, we can ask Sayedna to close with us how we can benefit from these sites uh, for our spiritual life and for our church. Definitely is a very good way of communication and reaching out for all the youth, for all the people, for uh, everything. So how do you think we can use it effectively? And can you be the ones that you can lead the use of these things to effectively uh, help your church? Well, there's already a lot of things on Facebook. Um, there's like um, applications you can add to your Facebook, like Bible verses and things that, you know, 
obviously everyone checks their Facebook almost every day. So as you're checking, you can like read a verse and do things like that. And then you can start groups, like church groups. Like we have a, um, a youth group for our church. And it's a good way to t let everyone know like the events that are going on. That way no one is left out. And I think that's a good way. Any other ideas? Um, like Monica said, um, I mean Marianne said, it is true, like for me, what I've experienced with like my friends from other churches, they do post up youth groups and they give you a decision whether you want to attend or not or maybe you can join them and everything like that. So yeah, you can connect with other people from churches that you know and um, you can lead other people into church groups if they haven't come to church. You can still update them of what's going on so that that way they could keep up with the program and, you know. Yeah. See, in, uh, we live in, uh, in an era of uh, high-speed communication <laughs> with everyone all, ar all around the world. Um, Definitely, we need when we are fa when we exposed to new things in our life. We need to learn how to set our boundaries from the beginning before it became a source of danger to to any of us. Especially if we don't know what are uh, the dangers and the benefits that we can face when we deal with new things in our lives. So, if you can uh, help us, Sayyidna Kada, to close to to learn how to set our boundaries when we face new things in our life, not specifically on the network or sites or, or social media, but generally, because we face a lot of new things in our life. Uh, our teacher, St. Paul, actually gave us four boundaries, four parameters to set our boundaries right. When he said, all things are lawful, so everything is lawful, but not everything edifies. So that's the first boundary. Is it edifying me or not? Is it edifying others or not? And uh, whatever going to help me to grow and help others to grow, then, then as a Christian, I can use it. The second boundary here, he said, all things are, are uh, lawful, but I should not offend others. Uh, and as he said, if eating meat offend my brother, I will not eat meat forever. So, again, this is another parameter. My use of all this me social media or, or any other thing can cause offense to anybody. And yes, my, my love to my brethren is, is great to the extent I will make a decision to quit anything that may cause offense to my brethren. And the third parameter here, all things are uh, lawful, but nothing control me. Uh, I might get addicted. Uh, when I, I wake up in the morning, what's the first thing I do? Check my Facebook or pray and, and, and read my Bible? You know? How many hours? Am I spending time on Facebook more than the time that I'm spending on studying. You know? So all these questions are very important to see whether I am addicted, whether it is controlling me or not. Because as children of God, uh, the Son of God sets us free. And we need to enjoy our freedom and our liberty in Christ. And as St. Paul said, don't use this freedom as opportunity for the flesh. And the last parameters, as St. Paul said, you know, all things are lawful, but not everything befits me. As Christian, I have to choose and pick what is suitable for me as Christian. Uh, because maybe one of your friends will share with you, uh, you know, some clips or some photos that will, you know, doesn't suit you as a Christian. So uh, w how can I handle this? Because not everything is suitable for me as a Christian. So if we remember these four things, not everything is device, not everything is suitable, nothing should control me, 
and I should not offend anybody. I think these are four good parameters to help us in making wise decision about using all the social media and in any actually other uh, habit or, 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 or new uh, uh, invention in our life. Thank you, Sayyidina. And uh, what I want you to uh, have in mind is definitely we need to set our boundaries with everything we face new in our life. Definitely, gonna, as a generation, you will face new things in your future. And in your future with your new families and your new children, also they will face new things that have never been experienced, the same as we feel right now. And definitely, if you keep these boundaries that uh, His Grace Bishop Yusuf told us today, it probably will help you how to deal with any new thing in your life. I would like to warn you about the addiction problem. Now psychiatrists have this new expression, which is called FAD, Facebook Addiction Disorder, which became very well known because of the amount of minutes and amount of time that has been used. I'm sure uh, with guidance around you, from the good friends that they love you, from guidance from our father the priest and gu guidance from our father the bishop, we will be able to pull through and be safe. Thank you. Thank you, Sayyid. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.